Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. I have an insanely hard problem today and I have to blame it on Andy Walker. When I was writing the book, Learn Excel from Mr. Excel, I would often be taking trips up to Toronto and be writing the book in the green room at Call for Help. And Andy walked up one day with what seemed like a really simple question, but as I try and explain it, you'll see that it's not as simple as you might think. Andy had a list of sales with date here and a sales amount, and he wanted to highlight any day where the sales for the day were greater than a thousand. Well, that's kind of hard to do because we have to add up multiple records to figure out whether those records add up to more than a thousand. The function that we use is a relatively new function called sum if. And sum if says take a look at all of the dates in column A. I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute reference and see if it's equal to today's date in column A. I'm going to freeze just A there. And if it is, then add up the corresponding number in column C. When I copy that down, you'll see that for each day, we'll see the total sales for the day. So on this particular day, there was $611. On the next day, $1189. Now, Andy wanted to see any time that it was greater than 1,000. So I'll put a little test here that says greater than 1,000. And now, instead of the actual number, I'm going to get either falses or trues. Now, this whole formula was really just a temporary step to make sure that it was going to work. I'm going to go to the formula bar, copy that formula using Control C, and then select my data set and go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Now, in conditional formatting, most people don't know that you can change the cell value is drop down to be formula is, and then in the formula bar, use Control V to paste the formula that you used. We'll click OK here, and all of the days where the sales were greater than 1,000 turn green. Absolutely amazing use for conditional formatting. Don't try and build that formula in the conditional formatting dialog, though. Build a temporary column, make sure it's working, and then you can come back and delete the column. There you have it, how to build a rather complex conditional formatting formula that looks at several rows within your data set to decide whether or not to color this row. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for hopefully a tip that is much simpler than this one.